What is going on guys? This is Michael Williams from Cartoon Universe and we have a lot of Steven Universe stuff to cover from San Diego Comic Con. Uh, their panel, they released two new, well one trailer and then another midi trailer clip thing. Unfortunately, we don't have any footage. It's been uh, about an hour or so since the panel ended. I don't know if we're going to get footage. If we do, I'll be sure to post it and uh, hopefully be able to talk about it in detail. Right now, all we really have is a person who live streamed it, who only got the audio for whatever reason, and a couple really, really quick glimpses at the trailer, but overall, not a lot of stuff. Um, there's one interesting image. But other than that, we don't really have anything to go off of for the most part, which kind of sucks. But uh, we do have some audio and we do have descriptions of the second trailer as well. So we're going to try to break this down as much as possible so I don't have anything to show, um, which is kind of annoying. I don't, I don't know if they said that they can't film anything because I know in the past they had people film stuff like i know remember when, when sardonyx was happening they showed that entire sequence of pearl and garnet fusing into sardonyx uh people released that online and it wasn't a problem so i'm not sure what the deal is here i don't know why all of a sudden we can't get any any real concrete footage of this so hopefully we do get some of that and we'll break that down once that happens but as of right now I'm looking on Tumblr, Reddit, 4chan, YouTube, Twitter. I'm not seeing any any images or footage of this panel. So we're just going to break down from the audio. Incredibly huge events lately. Um, and we're just going to see through the fallout of this bomb, there will be huge consequences to everything that's happened. Uh, and the roller coaster. Posters sort of rocketing forward from here on out. So th these next episodes were really exciting to make. I hope they'll be just as exciting to watch. Let's take a look. <laughs> So it starts off with Pearl saying, I'd be there with you. I don't, she, apparently she says something beforehand. I'm not sure what she says. Um, and shout out to Spider Freak 1011 for being in a transcript of this on the trailer. And we'll leave a link to the quote unquote trailer, but it's just audio um, in the description below. And then Steven says, you're safe. You're here. I'm here. We're safe. Everything's fine. Kind of messed up, Steven. Uh, Lars is on the other, uh, the, on, in another planet somewhere in the galaxy far, far away. And you're just like, oh, everything's fine. We're chilling. We're safe. Whatever. Lars is just whatever. Uh, it's really messed up. Uh, Connie says, but it's not, though. Thank you, Connie. It ain't. It ain't safe. Um, and then St we get a flashback of Steven's lines from Stuck Together. And he just and he says, I just wanted to save everyone, but I couldn't even do that. I don't know how I'm going to get you out of this. And Steven asks Sadie, you doing okay? And Sadie says, well, I'm worried about Lars being in space. I hope he's safe, though. So we know Sadie's very worried. Looks like she's not really worried about him um, <laughs> leaving her out to die uh, when he ran away from Topaz. So she's just mostly just concerned about his well-being. So that's a nice little moment. And then uh, Ruby, for whatever reason, Garnet infuses. Not sure why. But Ruby says, you ran from blue and yellow diamonds? And then Greg says, I don't know anything about Homeworld. I don't know anything about your society. You guys have to put it in context. So this might mean we might get some type of flashbacks of the actual society of Homeworld, how everything works. And we do see an image of what appears to be the crystal gems and maybe white diamond. It's kind of stylized as if it's a flashback, like it's almost like a storybook or something. So that'd be really awesome. We might finally get some 
actual development and, and story about White Diamond. <coughs> My throat. God. Ugh. <laughs> so that'd be really cool. Um, but then uh, Pearl says, there are things that are impossible for me to explain, but I want to. So this might be some Pearl backstory. Maybe we learn that Pearl's White Diamond's Pearl, or maybe we learn about Pearl shattering Pink Diamond or something like that, which would be absolutely insane. But we might finally get some Pearl flashbacks. Pearl backstory. It's five seasons in. It's finally happening, hopefully. And then, very interesting point. Uh, Lapis says they're going to take their anger out on this planet just like they did before. I won't let myself get caught up in another world war. Hey, she, she got bars. She got bars. Um, and the Paradox says the Earth is our home now. Isn't it worth fighting for? So it looks like we're getting some tension with Lapis because Lapis never really definitively said, hey, I'm a crystal gem. Uh, I'm part of this movement. Peridot has. She's been very open about it, but Lapis has been kind of ambivalent. She still isn't very comfortable with Earth or really the Crystal Gems fully. So this might kind of bring into question Lapis's alignment, what she really thinks, because Lapis is sort of a neutral character, and we see this here where she says they're going to take their anger out on this planet just like they did before. I won't let myself get caught up in another war. So Lapis is less concerned with Earth and the people on it, and she's more concerned with her well-being and not wanting to deal with this anymore. She just wants to relax and be by herself. So we might have some tension there with Lapis and Peridot and Lapis and the rest of the Crystal Gems. So that's super duper interesting. Where her alignment is finally getting questioned um, because this is something people have brought up a lot before, kind of asking like, well, is she a Crystal Gem? Is she not a Crystal Gem? So she's like almost a crystal gems crystal gem but she's not official like it like i said peridot has declared her loyalty to crystal gems but lapis has yet to do that and lapis has yet to get fully comfortable so that's going to be a very interesting arc um and then the second clip that we had uh which we don't have any audio for unfortunately um shout out to uh colin at sccc um at holiday hearse on twitter for posting this um and this is very interesting stuff so apparently we get to see emerald a new gem named emerald which is super duper hype um and she says uh, uh, said she looks amazing um also lars is in a uniform and commanding a stolen ship my boy lars is a pirate captain lars that's, that's what people are, <laughs> are calling him captain lars uh in the stars or something like that so i guess stars did happen technically um it's just something that's in lars's name but it's not a stephen lars fusion um and then it says since stephen angered the diamonds it was shown a huge war is about to happen i don't know how you show that a huge war is about to happen maybe it's some type of prediction from garnet uh, kind of getting a flash forward and we see the diamonds getting ready for war or something like that. We don't know what that means. Um, and then apparently Steven and Connie go to visit Lars through Lion's Mane only to find Lars was on a ship he stole from Emerald and was commanding the off colors on an escape mission. And he's in a uniform and super confident. Yo. Son, I'm so ready. I'm so ready for this. So Lars is a pirate. This man is a space pirate. He went from crying and being super afraid to being a space pirate. I love this. I love this so much. He's probably feeling a lot more confident because he's like almost immortal now. Uh, so I cannot wait to see how this happens. I, I can't wait to see Emerald. I, I don't know if we have any images of her just yet. Uh, hopefully by the time this video goes up, we will have some images um, but this is absolutely insane. So I can't wait. I, I, I don't know if there's any other interesting details. Uh, there were a couple things that were mentioned in the uh, panel itself from the q and Apparently, fluorite is confirmed to be a polyamorous relationship. So that's pretty cool. Uh, representation of a polyamorous relationship. That's not something you see too often, um, especially in a cartoon. So that's uh, that's actually pretty cool. A lot of people speculated that that was the case. But now we have confirmation. And apparently uh, we have not seen the extent of Lion's abilities. This is something that Rebecca Sugar stated herself. So we there are, there are powers that Lion has that we still have not seen yet, which is pretty insane. Uh, I, I did not know that he would have any more power so i i can't wait to see what else he has um i don't know if that means because when she says the extent of his abilities i don't know if that means there are more abilities or we just haven't seen him use his full power that he can with the abilities that we've already seen or maybe it's a mixture of both 
And this also kind of relates back to Lars as well. That means Lars has abilities that we have yet to see. So that actually could come into play with him escaping. That could come into play with him becoming a space pirate. Maybe he discovered some type of power that he didn't know he had that helped him steal that ship and stuff like that. So that'd be pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, I, I cannot wait for this. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully the footage drops soon. And if it does drop before I release this, then that means I have to re-record everything um, and actually talk about the actual footage but like i said as of this moment there is no footage if you guys know where we can find some footage or even just some images let us know in the comments down below and if you're new here be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because we have a lot of comic-con cartoons steven universe star wars Force of evil news that we're going to be covering there's a lot to talk about so be sure to hit that notification bell and uh yeah i think that pretty much covers it for these this uh these clips the steven universe clips if anything else comes up that we discover uh we will be sure to let you know Haley is actually in the star versus the force of evil panel now that starts in a little bit so we will have some direct information for you regarding the star panel luckily so if there is any footage or anything like that hopefully we'll be able to get it to you guys but thank you guys so much for watching again subscribe if you're new hit the notification bell a lot of comic-con stuff coming your way thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video peace